I'm Dave Jack, superintendent of Fauquier County Public Schools, here to talk to you just briefly about BYOD, Bring Your Own Device. The school board took the extraordinary step of approving this policy whereby digital devices, communication devices, are now allowed in our classrooms and in our schools. However, the successful implementation of this policy really depends on you. My own experience with BYOD has been very positive because students have taken on the responsibility to meaningfully and appropriately utilize these devices. But there are several additional pieces of information that you need to be aware of. BYOD stands for Bring Your Own Device. You may bring to school any internet capable device that has educational value. But your parents have to say it's okay. Do you have to bring a device to school? No, participation is voluntary. Will all of my teachers be doing BYOD? Not necessarily. Teacher participation is completely voluntary. Not all teachers will necessarily be implementing BYOD in their classrooms this year. You should talk to your teacher before using your device in the classroom. What if a student does not own a device? This program will give increased access to the school division owned devices that are already in the classrooms. BYOD does not mean you can do anything you want with your device in school. Principals have established common BYOD practices to be followed at each school level during non-instructional and instructional time. There are many state and federal laws that govern the use of electronic devices in public. For example, devices may never be used in bathrooms, locker rooms, changing rooms, or any other place where people have an expectation of privacy. You must use the school Wi-Fi for internet access. You may not use your 3G or 4G service for internet access. If you choose to bring a device, you must know the following. How to use it, how to connect to Wi-Fi, how to silence or turn off your device, how to ensure that you have an, have an antivirus, and how to conserve power to make it through the entire school day. This is your device. Don't assume that someone will be able to help you with your device. You must know how to protect your device from theft and keep an eye on it at all times. It is your responsibility to follow all the rules made by your parents, your teachers, your school, and the government. BYOD is a privilege. It can be revoked for any student at any time. You need to be sure that you always use your device in a way that is valuable to your education, allowed by the rules, and especially that the use of the device is respectful of the rights and needs of those around you. Use your device in a manner and in a mature and educational manner and it will become an invaluable part of your educational experience.